All right, if you're just going to pull regular financial data, look at stuff quickly, Yahoo Finance is fine. If you want more detailed look at companies' financials, what we're going to use for um, spreadsheet modeling class is we're going to go to Edgar uh, Online. So if you Google Edgar Online, you can go to this um, fast search here, and we can look for a company. So I'm going to look at uh, Union Pacific. And uh, what we want to do is we want to pull five years worth of financials, so balance sheet, income statement, and cash flows. Uh, so I'm going to go to the 10K uh, here. So finally type and hit enter. It'll give me the 10Ks. You'll get three years in each 10K for um, uh, income statement and cash flows. You'll get two years for balance sheets. So we'll need this one right here, this first 10K, which is the most recent one. We're going to skip a year. We'll need this one. And then we'll need this one to get uh, all the years we need. Um, so I'm going to hit the interactive data. What the interactive data does for us in Edgar Online is this. So there's a view Excel document so we can download all of their uh, financial information for Union Pacific here into an Excel spreadsheet. And once I have that, I can start moving things over. I have a blank book open here. I'm going to start moving the pieces I want over from here. Uh, so here's income statements. So I'm going to right click on that tab, move or copy, and I want to move that over to book one and hit OK. And it will now be in book one. Uh, now I can delete this blank sheet one I had before too. I don't need it. Uh, and then I'm going to go back to the financial report and I'm going to go to here. Uh, yep, so there's your balance sheet, your statement of financial position. I'm going to move or copy. Uh, I'm going to move it to book one. And then I'm going to go back again. And I'm going to go to the cash flows. And I'm going to right click. And I'm going to move or copy. And it's going to end up in book one. So, again, now I have a few years, uh, either three or two years, depending on the, the um, financial report uh, for UNP. Uh, and that's all I really wanted out of here. So, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this financial report. I don't need to save it. And then I'm going to go back to Edgar Online and I'm going to jump down again. I'm going to skip a year and go down to here and hit interactive data. Okay, internet. There we go. And um, open another financial report. Now, once I have this one, uh, again, I want to start with income. Now, in my current income statement, I already have uh, 2015, 14, 13. So all I need is, um, oh, that's the new one. I'm sorry. Uh, here's my statement. I have 17, 16, 15. So if I add 14 and 13 from the new one, then I will have five years. Now, the only thing you got to watch when you're bringing this stuff over. Uh, so if I copy and paste, uh, the new information over to the existing information. So if I paste this over, it always does this from a drama. I don't know why, but I'm going to have to hit Control A and unwrap text um, so that and sometimes you have to hit Control A, Control A again. Uh, but what this allows me to do is line everything up and make sure everything's the same. So like freight revenue matches up with freight revenue, other total operating, etc. Uh, if you're uh, wanting to make sure this is the way I usually do it. So I'm going to put if this equals this. So if A and E match up in this particular column. Um, if they do, I'm just going to hit quote, quote, because I don't need anything. Uh, and otherwise, I'm going to put in quote, no, like that. So, so that way, I can just copy this, double click this down. And look, we get two no's. Uh, and so it was good that I checked because it looks like they line up. What happens is depreciation and fuel and the, and the newer 10K are in opposite order of the old 10K. And so when I bring, again, I'm only bringing 14 and 13 over. Um, when I bring 14 and 13 over, then I need to flip depreciation and fuel. So I'm going to take uh, depreciation. I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to take fuel. Um, or I'm sorry, I'm going to move depreciation up to the depreciation line for this one, and I'm going to take the fuel cost for those two years and move them into the depreciation line so that they're in the right order. And then I'm going to delete the stuff I don't need. So I don't need that anymore, and that blows this up. 
but now I have um, 14 and 13 in there and everything lines up. Okay, so that's all you're really doing is you're pulling the financial statements and you're making sure everything lines up and you have five years of complete and correct data. Um, by a balance sheet, so let's go get balance sheet. Uh, do, so here's back to the um, 10K. Oops, did I miss? It should be right here, right? Oh, here it is, financial position. Okay. So here's our balance sheet. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. Um, again, I had 17 and 16. This is going to be 15 and 14. Um, so if I just copy the new or the older balance sheets into here, you can also copy it leaving a column blank. If you want to run your, um, again, control A, oh, control A, unwrap text. Uh, if you want to run your if statement here, you can as well. So if. Um, this equals this, right? Then, oh, don't close that off yet. Then, quote, 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 no. And we can drop this down. Now, this obviously has some problems, um, but there's things here where you have to kind of pay attention. So, one of the things you'll notice is no's come up right away. And part of this is this uh, short term investments that was not in the old. Um, 10K. There just wasn't a line for that. And so I'm going to take this and I'm going to hit insert and I'm going to shift cells down. And now everything should line up okay. So let's rerun um, this. That should say yes. If this equals this, um, quote, quote, comma, no. I don't know why my Excel hasn't been auto updating anymore. Let's see what the. Okay, so now all of these match up. Uh, the account receivable, oh, it does, it matches up as well. So everything now matches up all down here until we get to here. Uh, this says no, but really it's just common shares with par value this, and they have different uh, authorized and issued amounts. Um, uh, so it's actually the same, so that's not a real no. Uh, and that's all you're going to be kind of going with with your own company is trying to line all these things out. So now I have, um, we don't need this one either. Uh, so now we have 17, we have 16, we have 15, we have 14. We'll need to go grab one more balance sheet. Uh, let's do cash flows since I haven't done that out of this report yet. Uh, cash flows, here's cash flows. And again, we already have 17, 16, 15 on cash flows. So I only want uh, 14 and 13. Um, to do that, though, I need, or to match up everything, I'm going to go ahead and bring everything over, and then I'll delete the pieces I don't need. Um, so I'm going to copy all of the cash flow statement, move it over my book one cash flow statement, paste it here, hit control A, unwrap text, do the same things over and over again. And then I'm going to make sure stuff lines up. I do not need 15 at all, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. I don't need um, this blank here. So here's 14 and 13. Um, and then I'm going to make sure things line up again. So if this equals <clears throat> this, quote, quote, comma, no. Okay. And then double click that down. Uh, and we start getting no's down here. So we're going to start checking. So other investing activity came after um, proceed of asset sales. Um, which line up. Uh, this is now down here in the newer version. And so you'll see they've added purchases and maturities of short term investments into the new 10Ks that were not in the old 10Ks. So again, all I have to do for that is uh, insert, shift cells down. And again, yours are not going to have the same problems as mine. So make sure you're, you're paying close attention when you do this. Um, uh, do, to do. And these and, and these ones you you, you uh, didn't have before, these just become zeros too. I didn't do that on the old one. Um, I'll actually do this pretty quick here, and then I'll clean all of this up, uh, not on the video. Uh, but anyway, now this should look like a 22. Uh, let's make sure everything lines up, see if there are any other problems. Um, but you're just going to be going through your company and trying to match everything. Um, OK, 
capital he's financing. Uh, cash dividends declared not paid yet happened in the two years here, did not happen in the three years of the first one. So now I'm going to need to grab uh, the stuff I downloaded first. I'm going to move it down and add, add this. I'm going to copy this and paste it uh, over to make sure everything lines up. And now these are going to be zeros. Zero, zero, zero. Um, and now everything looks correct. And so now I can get rid of the NF. I like them and delete them. And now I have five years of cash flow. So now all I need is another year of balance sheets, um, which will be here. I just need the 2013 balance sheet. Open Excel. Okay, so here's the financial report that should have income financial position. So here's the 2013 balance sheet. That's what I was looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and copy what I just had here. I'm going to go back to here. And I'll paste it here, and that'll be able to add. Oh, it didn't wrap text real bad that time. Um, and that way I'll be able to add 2000. And again, I'm going to delete 14 because I already have it. Um, you'll see immediately like cash and cash equivalents. You know, this just needs to get moved up a line. Um, and then everything starts to line up because the short term investments didn't exist. So this blank is fine. Um, again, these can become zeros where they didn't have that. Uh, uh, accounts receivables matches up. We can start testing again if. Uh, this equals this, comma, quote, quote, comma, no, like we've been doing. Um, and it looks like current deferred income taxes. So there was a, a thing in 2013 that didn't exist in the others. Um, so I need to insert cell down and add current deferred income taxes paste that here um, now let's rerun the logic here okay this is a no but really it's not right current liabilities current liabilities it just has that abstract thing again here it has that abstract thing uh, and here's that same one we have before where the common shares common shares but they have Different, um, uh, different probably issued amounts of shares. And so now 13 lines up. Uh, I can delete these. And then the rest of it's just cleaning up. You know, I'm going to match formatting here and stuff like that. But we'll do that uh, not on the video. In the next video, we'll start talking about wiring these so that all the things calculate appropriately and stuff like that.